Hi, my name is Friday. Welcome to my channel. To my subscribers, thank you as always. And to my non-subscribers, subscribe and join the fun. For this first craft, we want one of these. Get two for a dollar. I will set the small one aside and the large one I plan to cut in half. But before I do that, I'm going to put twine to secure it around it a few times on each side and I will cut it in the middle. That way it just doesn't fall apart on me. So after I cut this, I bent this and I was going to fold it down and make some cute bunny ears, but I think it's just too bulky and I just don't like it. So I found an alternative. Cherry blossoms. They also have these white dogwoods if you want to use those instead. And what I will do is take this middle piece, bend this down here, but before I do, I'm going to cut it right below this flower and then bend it down and shape it into a bunny ear and hot glue the back part down right on top of it. I might decorate it. I'm not sure. I'm thinking I'm just going to like it just like it is. And there it is. I should have put my ears closer together at the bottom, but I'm loving this. And if you want to take the large one, you could attach it to make the, the full body. Okay, on to the next project. For this craft, you need one of these crosses and another set. We will not be using the smaller one. And then again, just like I did, I'm going to wrap twine around the edges and cut it in the middle. And I will paint this cross with my truffle paint. Now that my cross is dry, I unwrap part of this. And I want to attach this this way and this way. So I want to take enough of this. And I will have it overhang and I will trim it up with my pruning shears. So I will just kind of spread it out, attach my twine around there, trim it, and repeat it on the other side. Boy, this was a little bit hectic to do, but I managed. I did mess up at the bottom. As you can see, I don't have enough branches in there. I was going to trim this, but I kind of like it like that. I might just trim this a little bit. And then I will throw some of this foliage on there. Decorate it. Not sure if I want to do Easter eggs or flowers, so I'll see which one looks better. And I'll set it up. As you can see, I decided not to go with the Easter eggs. I'm loving this with the flowers. I wish I would have had some miniature roses. That would have been perfect. Okay, on to the next craft. For this craft, you need one of these Happy Easter sign and the leftover wreath form. I will gently cut this bunny off. I just will use the bunny. I will use the Happy Easter on a different craft. I guess I should show you how I did cut it. At first I scored it and then I just took this little Dollar Tree because it has the thin blade and I cut this part and now I am finishing cutting this one. And then I'll paint my bunny white with chalk paint. I tried to bend this oval shape. I actually tried to like an egg, but I settled for oval. Next, I'll take one of these carrots, hot glue it on here, next to my little bunny like he's eating it, hot glue it on my wreath form, and add a pretty bow, and that project will be done. Now, how simple was that to make? I'm loving it. Okay, on to the next craft. For this craft, you need one of these Happy Easter signs, and I already cut the rabbit off, and this egg. I will flip this over, sand the edges, fill in my holes on both of them, and then I will paint this one with my Vintage Victorian. I am not sure where my daughter found this wrapping paper at, knowing her, probably Michael's, but I will cover my egg with it using a glue stick. And then I will attach my Happy Easter sign on there, and that project will be done. This came out so cute. My glue stick was dry, so I ended up using Mod Podge on it. But I love how this came out. Okay, on to the next craft. For this craft, you need this calendar page and this charger. What I will do is I will trim around here and get close to the brown part as I can. Take your charger and I will apply chalk paint white just to the bottom edge. I'm not going to touch the rim, just the bottom. Now that my chalk paint is dry, and you can see I didn't go all the way around. I just want 
this part white underneath it. And I will attach it with my Waverly's varnish. I love how this came out. I love it just like this, but I will add some foliage and some yellow flowers to the bottom and that project will be done. Oh my goodness. I am in love with this one. The other eggs I made last year, I love how it just puts it all together. Okay, on to the next craft. For this next craft, you need one of these crates and I will use my antique wax and stain it. After your box is dry, add some of your floral form. I forgot to mention, I did cut up a popsicle stick and stained it on the ends. I'll add my floral form, some greenery, some baby's breath, and these eggs. Take a shish, shish kebab stick, put it in there, hot glue it around there, trim it down so it'll fit right in there. And that project will be done. I love how this came out. I should have glued like three crates together and filled them all up. That would have looked really cute. Okay, on to the next craft. For this craft, you want one of these eggs. I will snap it together and paint it with my chalk paint white. Now that my egg is dry, I will take these napkins. I found these at the Dollar Tree last year and decoupage it to my egg. Make sure the one fly, I'm not sure. I won't know until I get it out and find out. So these napkins were not what I was expecting, but no problem. I finagled it and got it all on there. I did not cover with Mod Podge. I kind of like it just like that. Next, I'll take this bouquet I got from the Dollar Tree. It had some yellow flowers, but I used them on that other project earlier. And so I will just decorate that this egg, and that project will be done. And this is how this one turned out. It matches my eggs I made last year. The ears on those are just those little spoons that I painted, but I'm loving it. Until next time, take care of yourself and one another.